iconic one. Now available on your home screen. The sports drama Shooting Stars chronicles the inspiring true story of LeBron James and his three best friends as they set out to be the number one high school basketball team in the country. Just need a second, coach. You on the team here? Nah, but I could be if you're lucky. Me and my boys, we've been balling with each other since we was like 10. Call ourselves the Fab Four. Let's go in! Get up! Hey! We can win you a state championship, guaranteed. We saw every actor in LA, and then we kind of went on the road into basketball tournaments to, to find who it was. And we were pretty nervous because, you know, this movie doesn't happen if we don't find the person that can represent LeBron. I was just trying to find good kids. They all kind of balanced each other out. It was just like my first time doing it. So that's like, that's what the pressure was. It's probably more was. exciting. Yeah, that's like, what, honestly, yeah. Honestly, I feel that it's almost like someone saying, hey, you're Spider-Man. I would love to play Spider-Man. Facts, it's like, you why not, I mean? yeah. Like, why not play LeBron? Of course, LeBron is like a superhero to a lot of people. Running up and down the court, flying like that, he's a superhero in real life, you know what I mean? I picked LeBron because he has skills and he was a good kid. His mom just wants a spot where he can be safe and not get in any trouble. Caleb is an amazing actor. He, in a new edition of the project we did together, he had to learn to dance. But when he showed up for the audition, he was balling. The basketball scenes wasn't too much like for me. Uh, it was more like the acting, you know what I mean? More of just like focusing on my lines, making sure I'm dropped into character. Everybody on the team, everybody on the fab, we all uh, grew up playing basketball. So we were all familiar with basketball. I would say I had to prepare more towards on the, um, the script part, like when it came down to actually acting. So look at y'all, and now tell me, which one of y'all supposed to be Carlton? Wow, you stop. You? <laughs> he was actually the first fab member I met um, going to Cleveland and being on set. And uh, he spoke to us, and I got his number, and I was able to speak to him for a couple of hours, just asking him about his dynamic with his friends, how he felt about himself, even, in, even his dad. You see a weakened relationship a little bit between uh, Coach Drew, Big Drew, and Little Drew. As you see a little bit of a weakness because you have such a prominent figure like LeBron James on the team. You're in the game, let's go. We may be seeing the beginnings of something special here and after. I played with Bronny seventh, eighth grade, all the way to freshman year. Uh, so like, I've been around LeBron multiple times, you know, at his house, uh, at hotels with him. So like, I, I got to see, you know, a perspective that most people don't get to see, and that's just outside life. But I got to talk to him after the fact of us filming it, man. And, he told me I killed it. Wanted to make great players out of you. Dad wants to make great men. That'll last a lot longer. We here, so we know what we're capable of. It's really a story about mentorship and fatherhood and inserting to these young men what they need to become. It's more than a LeBron story. It's, uh, it's about a brotherhood, a friendship, positive, negatives, ups and downs. It's about his community, his friends, you know? Like, it's about his boys. Right now, I'm not thinking about the future. I'm thinking about my brothers. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. We want to know, what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the Emma HTV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.